Our second presenter is Waku Kenaporum, whose presentation is titled Visualising the Breadth of a Region, Exploring the Nexus of Air Quality, Health and Community Engagement in the Niger Delta Through Art. Who remembers the wildfires and smoke from Canada last summer? Anyone? Okay, there's a few. On June 29, 2023, Pittsburgh's Air Quality Index had a rating of purple, signifying very unhealthy levels for everyone. It was our worst air pollution day in years. In fact, you couldn't see ahead of you. Now, imagine if June 29, 2023 was your reality every single day. Air pollution is a global crisis claiming 7 million lives annually, with severe impacts felt most acutely in low- and middle-income countries and communities like the Niger Delta region of Nigeria that has grappled with over six decades of fossil fuel mining from companies like Shell, Chevron, and Mobil. My dad, who lives in Portakot, the larger city, laments that pollution has destroyed what's left of the Niger Delta. He says they cannot breathe, because there is a hanging black cloud covering the city 24 hours of the day. But despite its devastating toll, awareness on air quality risks remain low in many communities. Traditional approaches to data dissemination often fail to engage the public effectively, especially in regions with diverse linguistic, educational, and technological barriers. My research seeks to bridge this gap by employing an innovative approach that combines citizen science technology and art to raise awareness and empower local communities to take action. Through citizen science, I'm working with local residents to deploy low cost air quality sensors across the Niger Delta to collect real time data on pollutants like particulate matter, ozone and carbon monoxide. Additionally, I'm gathering health data and community perspectives through interviews and surveys. But here's where the magic happens. I would translate this complex data into artistic visuals like interactive installations, paintings, and sculptures. These visuals transcend language and other barriers to engage with viewers on an emotional level, making the invisible visible. And the effectiveness of these visuals will be validated through focus groups and surveys. My goal is to spark conversation, incite action, and drive policy change by empowering local communities with knowledge and agency, we can foster a safer, healthier, and more sustainable future for all. Visualizing the breadth of a region represents a pioneering effort to raise air quality awareness in the Niger Delta through the intersection of science and art. Together, let's breathe more life into our communities and the planet as a whole. Thank you.